Hi, my name is Tom Murray. I'm the co-director of the Voice and Swallowing Center at Loma Linda University in Loma Linda, California. I've been there for about a year and a half after being in New York City for the last uh, 13 years. Our clinical program at Loma Linda focuses heavily on elderly people uh, because they come to us with both voice and swallowing issues. Their concerns are not so much that their voice is a little bit hoarse, uh, but their main concern usually is that their voice tires out on them or that they're clearing their throat a great deal and they're not sure if there's something in their throat. Uh, do they do that when they swallow? Do they do that when, when, uh, when they're sleeping? So we're able to, with uh, flexible endoscopy, we're able to look at them as they speak and as they swallow. Uh, what we're finding is that many of these people have minor problems with their voice and sometimes major problems with other aspects of their communication. And so our clinical approach to treating them is first consider how they use their voice. Do they live alone? Do they eat alone? Are they living in a board and care facility with other elderly people who may be hard of hearing? And so we try to deal with their environmental issues as much as their voice specific issue because the two of them sort of blend together. Uh, an elderly person who lives with one other elderly person who may be hard of hearing probably has issues that are much different than somebody who lives in a board and care facility where there are many people uh, who are elderly but they all know each other and so they get along and they almost, it's kind of like uh, knowing somebody for a long, long time and you don't have to be too careful about what you say to them. So we're, we're trying to deal with these people on a clinical basis. Some of them require some medication because they may have some reflux uh, conditions. Many of them require some amount of voice therapy uh, to see that they can use their voice okay and that it may tire out on them, but it is not a disease process that, that can be uh, fixed anyway easily. Uh, and then there are some people who have some voice problems in which uh, surgery may be actually quite helpful to them and allow them to communicate more naturally. So we have a team which includes a nutritionist, an otolaryngologist who specializes in voice and swallowing, a speech pathologist, and then we also have a social worker who uh, is helping to look at some of the aspects of other uh, problems that these people may have other surgeries that may have caused them to have a voice problem. So with this team that we now have, we're able to address the problem, to focus on is this a disease problem that needs something like surgery or specific medication, or is this a communications problem that may involve just reaching out to them so that they're not fatiguing their voice, how, to, how can they talk to a large group of people without tiring their voice, and we feel pretty excited about it because many of these people are coming back and say, no one ever told me I should do this or I shouldn't do that. Uh, and they just said, well, you just have an old voice and uh, you, you should get used to it. Well, you don't have to get used to it because we're hearing some of these voices that after a session or two with, with the nutritionist or with the speech pathologist, they're much happier that, that they can use their voice how they want to use it. So we're pretty excited about this whole program of a, of a joint group working with these elderly people at Loma Linda.